My name is Kai Goosens, and I'm an assistant professor at the McGovern Institute. As I transitioned from a graduate student to a postdoc, two members of my immediate family became severely mentally ill. As I was starting to plan my experiments, I was interested in the interaction between chronic stress and fear. Both of the members of my family who had mental illness, when they experienced major life stressors, it made their illnesses so much worse. Kai is someone who wants to find a whole new biological approach to treating depression and anxiety disorders. For a long time, we thought that we knew how chronic stress impacted the brain, that neurons actually shrink in response to chronic stress. But it turns out that that's not the whole story. When you chronically stress an animal, neurons in a part of the brain that is especially important for generating and expressing fear actually grow. The part of the brain that shows growth is called the amygdala. It's especially important in generating and expressing fear. We've identified now a number of genes that are turned on only in the amygdala following chronic stress. That is, chronic stress doesn't cause these genes to be turned on in any other part of the brain. Linking those pieces together, linking from a gene to thoughts and emotions, I mean, this is an enormous undertaking. Once you've identified genes in a particular brain region that you think are involved in something, you need to have a way to manipulate those genes and see which of those actually lead to changes in behavior. So I'm very hopeful that what we do in our lab will eventually result in, in better treatments to block the um, effects of chronic stress on mental illness.